I remember I was in jail, or maybe I came home from jail, and Yachty said he had a dream that it was me, and and I ran down on him with some thugs and some guns, and I'm like, the fuck? He said that? Yeah, he said he had a dream and some shit like that, and, and, and this happened. I forgot where he said that. But I'm like, man, I fuck with Yachty. I wouldn't run down on him or whatever. I guess this was after the whole shooting thing or whatever. It was fresh miles. I was like, damn, what the fuck? That was that was wild to me, you know what I'm saying? I do feel like Yadi is one of those people who like their original, just different type of people. Yeah, like, I, I, you know I don't what? I think his nail polish wearing is because he want to be feminine, or it's because he wants no, to promote. No, that, no, I'm gonna that, be honest with you. That male, I did this podcast, emasculating, you know, energy. I don't think he gives that. I, I I give that for go ahead. I was gonna say I give that for like it's 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 three niggas that are like different or weird, for lack of a better term, I'll fuck with Yadi. Uh, little Uzi and Tyler Yahweh. Tyler, I fuck, Tyler is my man. I fuck that nigga. Yeah. It's three niggas that like, wear nail polish. Man, I won't give. Hey, Uzi I'm, don't fuck with nail polish, but I'm saying like I don't like. I think that genuinely they just. I'm gonna be honest man. with you. Act would have more insight than me. I, I did an interview with Yachty, and I and I really asked him. I was like, he was in the bed when he did it. <laughs> nah, 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 nah we, You we, told him, nigga, don't be in no fucking nah, bed talking nah, to me, nigga. nigga. We, we did it. We did it like uh, in New York. Okay, because you wasn't with the lady. Go to his crib. He's gonna be in the bed. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm gonna be honest. So you told him don't be in no fucking bed when he yeah, interviewed nah, you, right? Nah, he can't be on on, on no Bobby Alto <laughs> shit. But but I'm gonna be honest with you. When I start questioning about the the nail thing, oh, you question about it? Yeah, it, it, it didn't make sense. Bro. Nah, it didn't make sense. Like he was basically no, saying, it was right hand, we do right hand. No, no, nigga, nigga, it, it just didn't make sense. Honestly, it just didn't make no sense. What? Because he was defending it kind of like it was style, but there was no real reason behind it. Like it, 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 he couldn't really articulate why he no was doing why. it, and it wasn't like. Because because he said, well, it, it's kind of like expression. So I said, well, you a musician. Why can't you express yourself in music? Mm, you a general. He didn't really know how to say. It. He didn't really know how to kind of like. Yeah. And and I and I really and I really said, well, listen, if did you do this prior to you becoming famous? Mm. And that was a no. Right. The, 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 there's some holes looks. in that theory of oh, some of these guys are just weird from the get go. Right. Yachty was stealing computers. Before he was getting locked up for doing like real nigga shit. Not not right. saying still I'm is real nigga shit, shit, but like he shit. was, yeah, yeah he street was, shit. he wasn't the guy who was just painting his nails type right. thing. You know what I mean? Was yeah, he, wearing beads. No, no, now he didn't have colored hair. He had colored hair. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't like in that style, but like it was kind of like a fro. It's some old mug shots of him. Like you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's probably a young nigga who like wanted to like just change the hair color right, type right, shit. Right, right, right. It's just like that. The, the, the nail polish shit didn't really come in until after he's up tens of millions of dollars. Really successful songs. So what I what I think, and then you can tell me if, because we're two educated people that think, I think, and this happens with a lot of people, is they're trying to tap into a larger audience. Yeah, yeah, no, they're trying to create an edge. They're trying to create an edge. They're, they're trying to appeal to an audience of the emo, of the people who are, oh yeah, like, we need to like. There's a group. There's a group of like kids that come up and they do these type of things to kind of have yeah. some self expression. These rappers Ooh. don't gotta do it. Oh, Ak, I want to ask you about that. Who? This is great. I'm rubbing my hand with one glove, Birdman. Okay. Anyway, have you ever seen? I need my Santa hat for this. I'm in the fucking Christmas spirit. All right. God's good paper straight hat. Go get it. Gigps.com. All right. Anyway. Gigps clothing. Anyway. I see a lot of times, and you notice this, what people don't realize is a lot of artists that are like different alternatives, it be a lot of cap, man. It don't be more so about yeah. uh, lyrics, record sales. These niggas can go on stage in different crowds, which is not just all black hip hop, and they can just scream and jump around, yeah, blah, blah, and the people will go crazy at these festivals. Yeah. yeah. They don't know the words, nothing. Oh, such and such premieres a new song. Blah, yeah, blah. And the people go crazy. And I think that's because a lot of the non, like, like not black fans, other people could be Indian, white, whatever. They're more receptive. I used to go to this thing called Fool's Gold. I don't know if people heard of it back in the day, but I'll perform at Fool's Gold and the people go crazy. And I'm like, man, they ain't hearing these deep album cup mixtape shits. You know what I'm saying? This is back before I was really on, on going crazy. And I think, and what, what artists have picked up on is if you capture those audiences, which are not just urban, black, that you'll have 
not only longevity, but you'll have bigger crowds. You'll make more money. Black people can go to clubs. They can go buy the tables, stand up, whatever, whatever. But those real concerts, from you've seen the concert. What percentage would you say are black? Or should I say are not black? Well, well like, I mean. In concerts. I, I go to a Yachty. Uh, I went to a Yachty concert in 2017, and I went to a Yachty concert this year. Both times, it's probably upwards of. 85% white. Okay, cool. Also... And there's nothing wrong with that. There's oh, nothing wrong with that. Also, I remember the first time I went to his concert in 2017, that's when mosh pit culture was getting real big. Like, now it's just normal. And that and that used right? to be... That, that used to be frowned upon in with urban, in the urban community. Yeah. Right. That was taboo. You don't do I mean, mosh pit. In the urban community, mosh pits is probably going to end in a shootout. Yes, in a death. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ex- absolutely. I remember watching that concert and I, and I was saying... I don't think they're turning up to the song as as it is where the beat drops. Mm. So it's not like they're like, oh, this is my song. They're like, it's almost like a rave. Mm. So it's it's so I remember even saying, even some of the it, it was all about the instrumentals. That's why I was like, it reminded me of like some of these electronic dance festivals. Yeah. Yep. Where it's not necessarily about the song; it's about yeah. the beat and the build up and this yep. and third. Yep. I go I go to the lights, show. The smoke. Yeah. No Calypso, no show, as my Trinidadian barber would once say. I go to his show um, this this year, and, you know, there's moments where they're all, like, really tapped in and tuned into what he's saying. But for the most part, when he's performing, they have a whole different world going on in the crowd. They're not even looking at the stage. They're, mm-hmm. like, bouncing around. You know, he'll be like, you open it up. Like, you know, right. it's the mosh pit shit again. Right. You know, and it's more of the experience of that more than... Yo, we're here to watch you perform. I think he's trying to music, he, listen to the world. Yeah, it's I, more like a culture. Yeah, I think he's trying to build. Being. He try to bridge that gap because he, he's been working on, you know, especially working with Drake and shit like that. He want to be uh, respected more as an artist. I want to produce for but, Little Yachty. I want to produce the record. But I'm just saying that. still, his whole like a lot of his fans are, yo, we're turning up just off the beat. 